pure, tranquil, and pristine. These words barely even describe the beauty of the Malawian River. Its serenity provides contrast to the noisy activity within the campus, and most especially, it brings our home, the university, closer to nature. In spite of this, only a few people recognize this fact, while most remain ignorant. This ignorance may lead to the death of the Malawian. The Malawian River is just one of the many streams that crisscross the University of the Philippines Los Banos, flowing from the peak of Mount Mikiling and empties into Laguna de Bay. Although situated in a busy and crowded area, the Malawian River never fails to house several flora and fauna. Residents of Citro Riverside rely on the river for domestic purposes and sometimes it is also their source of food. However, due to the increasing pollution of the river, the organisms that thrive in the river begin to struggle for survival. In 1996, a study was conducted here in the University of the Philippines and it was revealed that the river has increasing concentrations of biological oxygen demand, phosphates, and nitrates, clear signs of increasing pollution. Low concentration of dissolved oxygen was said to be caused by the presence of decaying organic matter in the river, which uses up the dissolved oxygen in the water. The presence of nitrates and phosphates in the river was of a high concentration and may lead to eutrophication. According to Republic Act 9275, any form of pollution in the lake shall have its repercussions. In according to these laws and reprimands of the LLDA, there are several programs established for the cleanup and rehabilitation of the Malawian River. During the 1970s, the NUP College of Agriculture Dean Juskora Mali implemented the five-year development plan. This plan gave birth to several developments in the university and gave rise to new buildings and facilities. During this period, a sewage treatment facility was found under the guidance of the Basic Health Plant Maintenance and Services Office, or PPMSO. So, the sewage treatment plant of the PLD was built in 1970. So, since then, it's the next part of operation. The sewage treatment plant collected sewage from the campus. The sewage collected from the campus undergoes three stages, primary clarifiers, trucking filters, and secondary clarifiers. The primary treatment removes the settable organic and inorganic by sedimentation. Secondary treatment includes the trickling filters and aims the removal of biodegradable dissolved and colloidal organic matter using aerobic biological treatment processes. The sludge from the primary and secondary treatments was pumped to the sludge digester, wherein the sludge undergoes an aerobic digestion. The sludge is then dried in sludge beds. However, during 1998, the sewage treatment facility's operation came to halt. <laughs> Now it is just a part of the university that is forgotten by time. As you enter the plant, you can clearly see the plant itself was not maintained. Vines grow everywhere, equipments were worn out by rust, the place was dumped with trash. 
now it is filthy, time wound and abandoned. Due to the alarming levels of pollution in the creek, authorities decided to take action. The previous UPLB Chancellor, Luis Ray Velasco, planned a new course of action in response to the complaints. Parang nag-start na yung one eh. Actually, may plan na rin yun eh. Nag-start na talaga yun eh. Ang unang plano noon, nung time nito po, bilas po, talagang ay eh, eh, kung ano yan, yung parang gagawa ng, ng another new. Na yung, yung ngayon, yung mga latest na mo, ngayon, yung mga modern, yung mga STP, which is may mga German technology. So, kasi na tinignan nung study ng plan, kasi yung expensive, yung nagbago. However, the Chancellor's term ended, and with it, the plans of saving Malawin Creek was stopped. Since there is no treatment done for the sewage from the campus, sewage is directly dumped into the creek. <laughs> Namasting na wala, wala tayong ano, wala tayong treatment na nagagawa, I mean, wala tayong treatment na ginagawa doon. Pero, um, during the conduct of our assessment kasi last year, tinest natin yung, tinest naman namin yung wastewater quality, I mean, yung lumalabas, I mean, from inlet and then, as well as dun sa outlet na, ng pipes dito sa likod ng PPMS ko. And, based sa results, yung nakuha naman nila is kumaga tolerable naman yung yung wastewater na meron tayo dito so hindi pa naman siya hazard The new administration brought it with a new hope. The new UPLB administration, headed by Chancellor Rex Victor Cruz, decided to form an ad hoc committee regarding a new sewage treatment facility, headed by Professor Rex Demopoulos. Um, last year, we had a feasibility study on the rehabilitation and recognition of the UPLB sewage treatment plan. And yung sinasabi natin na budget or funds is magagaling na sa office ng Chancellor. Kaya ang, ang isa lang pa dyan, yung mga technical aspects kasi uh, involved na rin ngayon yung si Quarty Engineer Pascual sa Office PD ngayon. Kaya in-invite, isang beses in-invite namin yung uh, mga proponent na contractor dati na gumawa niya yung DCCG nga ng Manila. Kung, kung may magagalit pa ba doon. And then, 
upon our our assessment so ano pa rin naman siya structurally uh, structurally sound yun naman yung mga electromechanical components na such as yung pumps yun lang yung medyo nakakawa kasi hindi lang na talaga na recover doon and ayun tapos yung mga structure niya um, yung build na naman kilala mo yung talaga i rehabilitate somehow I mean kasi medyo delikado na rin siya yung mga wind broken a new plan for the sewage treatment was proposed by the new ad hoc committee. So, yun nga. And then, aside sa recommendation namin, so yung current naman ngayon, um, included dun sa report yung mga, yung mga um, series of facing kung paano gagawin na yung, ano, yung, yung, kung paano i-rehabilitate yung SPP natin. So, Meron din sa recommendation ng committee na, na phase 1 to phase 4. So, sa ngayon, um, nag-release ang um, Office of the Chancellor ng budget na 20 million budget for, for phase 1. Or actually, ang, ang recommendation ba ng committee din is 14 million. Ang basis ng committee doon is 35 million pesos for 1 MLB na design capacity ng, ng SPP. So, also, during 2010, a simple and economical water filtration system was developed by Dr. Macrina Zavoralia. Her concept for the water filtration system came from her 2010 study involving the use of water hyacinths to absorb pollutants from the balance of water. Acting as a barrier, the bamboo sticks are made into a structure similar to an organized beaver dam interlinked by a chicken wire and supported by heavy rocks at the front. The system is placed perpendicular to the running water so that the water that will pass through it will be filtered by the roots of the water hyacinths, which absorb solids and filter heavy metals, particularly lead. Also on August 2010, the Malawan River was declared to be a bypark by then Chancellor Velasco and Vice Chancellor Virginia Cardenas. Dr. Zafaraga described the bypark as a system that is owned by the community not by the government. She said it is basically a give and take relationship between the community and the river. The main reason of turning Malawan River into a biopark was to make sure that the river is not devalued again, so as to maintain the biodiversity in the river. This declaration was said to be able to help both the river and the residents relying on the river. On that note, it seems that the Malawan River is in good hands that it is maintained for the benefit of the river and of the people. However, the university's wastewater still makes its way into the creek with minimal, if not nil, treatment. Can it still be said that the Malawan River is not what it used to be? And then, yun na, masaya, masaya rin ako'y balita na, kahit na, kumbaga, meron na rin na-release na budget for the STP rehabilitation. So, syempre, mas malaki na yung chance na talagang, is the river really rejuvenating, or is it being gradually being plummeted to its depth? Only time can tell. Everyone loves a glass of water, but somehow we waste water every day. Pour it down the drain, and our world seems the same. But if you love something, you don't throw it away. H2O, I hate to see you go. Cause if you go for good, all life is gone as well. So everyone, save water like you should. Cause you're not just saving water, you're saving life as well. Water isn't just a drink, it's used for other things. Like water the farmers' crops and helping all the grass to grow. But we must still make sure that none of it is wasted, so the fish are not without a home. H2O, I hate to see you go. Cause if you go for good, all life is gone as well. So everyone, save water like you should. Cause you're not just saving water, you're saving life as well.